husbands. Don't do this to your pregnant. Oh, I'm sorry. Wives. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just enjoying a nice Sunday afternoon cruise. Wait, what? What was that? Transitioning to five mile per hour max speed. Oh, that's nice. Something went wrong. <laughs> DF empty, refill now. How about no and see what happens? Yeah. Well, right now I'm at seven, eight. I'm already over. All right, I wonder if you come to a complete stop. Here, come to a complete I'm stop. I don't want to. Uh, uh, I mean, we're right, we're right down the road, uh, okay. All right, so we came to zero. Uh, I'm, I'm going over, I'm 10 miles per hour right now, so, huh, this is it's, transitioning, but maybe it's when we restart the car, I don't know, the truck, excuse me, Yeah. I don't know. Oh, wow, there's that light. <laughs> Freaked me out for a second because we we're going 50 miles an hour. Uh, <laughs> this is transition to five. Transition to five. <laughs> Here's a little update. We jumped back in the vehicle after turning it off. I got my pedal to the floor. Yeah. And five miles per hour. No. <laughs> How are we gonna get home at five miles per hour? No, we need somebody to come pick us up. No, no, we're no, not no, 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 we're not gonna ever get home. No, we're gonna make it. Bliss. Why can't we just have your parents bring the dually and us go buy some deaf? Can't buy deaf on Sunday. Well, we can do without the GMC for one day. We'll make it. Babe, I'm getting out of this vehicle right now. Oh. I'm gonna go ask for a ride home. Stop. I'm just trying to get up to the highway. Babe, it's fine, chill out. If you've ever been curious on what happens to a L5P especially 2020 and up uh, once you run out of depth fluid completely uh, it says 100 mile or 500 miles or 200 miles or something like that till 65 limit 65 miles per hour limit and then it'll do a um, 100 miles to uh, 55 miles per hour limit and then after that out of nowhere it will do a uh, transitioning to five miles per hour limit and uh yeah it'll limit you to only five miles per hour like uh what's going on right now so, so i'm driving down the interstate from uh my in-laws grandparents place and uh we're going only like five miles per hour right now so everyone is zooming past us yeah we're pretty anyways Wife is going to go get some death fluid, but I just wanted to show what happens when you run out of death fluid in a 2020 or 2021 L5P. This is on our 21 Denali HD L5P Duramax. So I hope y'all enjoy this uh, short little clip here. I thought it was just funny. Uh, my wife was like, oh, it's only got something about... I was like, let's just see what happens. I just, I was just curious. I've never run a diesel out of uh, death fluid all this way. So I was like, and let's see what happens. So it's kind of dangerous, but uh, let me uh, get call my my wife and see where she's at with her death foot. Oh, there they are. I guess I'll just pull into here. Whoa! I went ten miles per hour because I was coasting. I guess. All right. It is okay. Let's see if this works. Alright, let's use this environmentally friendly stuff. Oh, this stuff smells so bad. Yeah. Angie asked why Papa's never had to put this in his truck, but it's after it's after 2017? Uh, 2011. 
he crystallizes everywhere. <laughs> Having all this crash is environmentally friendly. What would make sense with the EPA? See, it has its own death compartment. Until 2020 on the Chevy diesels, this used to be under the hood. So the people wouldn't accidentally put diesel into exhaust fluid or vice versa. But people still do that. And it costs like 10 grand to fix. I guess it worked. It says. Oh, here. 585 mile range. Works immediately. So I guess so. I guess. Dash. Yeah. What is this? 585? It says 585 miles. So I guess it worked here. So I'll, yeah. I'll take this uh, environmentally friendly trash. Garbage. Yeah. All right. So now we'll see if it goes more than five miles per hour again. So I'm pretty surprised on the Duramaxes that it reads death fluid quick a lot quicker thanks angie then on the ford sometimes the the fluid gauge will get stuck and you have to fill it up almost all the way to have it register death fluid mm. so we okay it says we go five miles per hour so let's see if it goes more than do we need to turn five. it off and turn it back on the truck no yeah I don't think, well, I don't think so. Let's see. Got three, four, five. Oh, we're, we're stuck here. Okay, go, turn them. I'm just kidding. So, okay, husbands, don't do this to your pregnant Oh, uh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. We're good, we're good. So, there we go. It says we got one bar of death fluid. So, hopefully we won't have this problem no more. You know what would have been bad is if you had that on the way down to your army training in Lake Charles. So thankfully it happened at home. No, that wouldn't be too bad because I saw plenty of places that were selling death fluid, so I, I could have picked some up. It wouldn't have been a big deal. This is the first time. I probably wouldn't have continued to try to drive on the 50 mile an hour highway though at only five miles per hour. Well, this is the first time I've ever, or we've ever run out of death fluid or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, I'm glad I get this, got this video because, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's an experience that y'all ever will come across or have experienced. Let me know down in the comments below if y'all have ever ran out of death fluid and had an experience like this. I'm sure if some of y'all have stories of if y'all were towing a camper cross country or something like that and y'all ran out. But anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. Later. Bye. Yeah.